Scriptable objects. Scriptable objects in Unity are really powerful because they can leave less memory behind and they can also be modified from anywhere as long as the script has a reference to it. So I have a real basic example here where the camera moves up and then it comes down. I'm using this, I'm using a sine wave to do this. It's just a real simple function. I'm creating a new vector three and pretty much just multiplying new pause dot y is equal to amplitude, which is a public float up here, multiplied by mathf dot sine, speed multiplied by time dot delta time, and then I'm clamping it. And then I'm saying the transform dot position is equal to the new pause. So what I want to do is convert these two floats up here to scriptable objects. This will allow me to create multiple variations of these without having to create multiple instances of the script. So to do that, I can create a new C sharp script and call it camera mover stat like that. I can open it up in V. Visual Studio. I got used to saying Visual Studio Code, but in this tutorial, I'm using Visual Studio. Okay, so instead of inheriting from mono behavior, we inherit from scriptable object like that. Start functions and update functions are no longer usable, and neither are coroutines. So up here, we create a new attribute in square brackets, and then we type in create asset menu, open close parentheses, file name is equal to, let's just call this new cam stats the menu name is equal to camera stats cam stats and you don't have to include the or the order so we want the two floats from the camera mover so we want public float speed and public public float amplitude if i can type correctly like that and then we can delete this in our script and simply create a new reference to the scriptable object. So it's called camera mover stats, like that public camera mover stats, camera mover stats, like that. Instead of amplitude, we do camera mover dot amplitude. It's not auto filling, camera mover dot amplitude exactly like that and it's because i forgot to save it now it should contain definition and then we can do camera mover dot speed as well and then everything should just work out for some reason i have two instances of visual studio open i don't know why and then we can simply create a new cam stats and just leave it at default so we can set the speed to five and just the amplitude to one and then on our main camera we no longer have two floats we just have a camera mover stats so i can drag that into there and we should see that everything should be working yes it still works like it should all right so we can also modify the scriptable object at runtime and the changes will save but in a build this will also not save so for example i'm just increasing the speed and it works I can also reset back to 5, and I can also change the amplitude to like whatever I want. Now that's a little extreme, so I'm, I can just change that to like 15. Okay, whenever you build this and make changes to the scriptable object, the changes will not save between sessions, which is a little sad, but it's just how it works. These are not recommended to store functions, primarily because you don't have access to the entire mono behavior library, but besides that, they're pretty cool and they're pretty designer friendly. You can also create custom editors for them, which is a huge plus. Okay, so I also have to point out the difference between file name and menu name. So menu name is what it appears as when you're in the create asset menu. So cam stats is what we set the menu name as and file name is the new name of a created file and another thing i have to point out is that these things are ultra performant because you're not creating an instance of the values every time you create a new object that has a reference to the scriptable object so you're leaving behind less memory increasing your frame rate okay so besides that uh scriptable objects are really cool in unity and they can create scalable code code in scalable games it also makes your game a lot more designer friendly and uh we can transition to the outro 
So if you found this video informative, then be sure to subscribe and leave a like. I would also like to thank my subscribers. And if you have your subscription set to public, then I would like to th thank you guys. Such as Get Learnt With Chunk, Checo Mix, Underfunded Scientist, Johnny Charisma, Saint Karen Ramon. So sorry if I butcher any of these. Hosmar Pinhero, Bryn Lee, Cameron Snyder, Nathaniel Yance, Nice Buddy, Lynn Thompson, and the E B E S M O N. Thanks to all these people who have subscribed, and in order to get shouted out, then be sure to subscribe and set your subscription to public. But besides that, Funuber out. I'd also like to mention that I have a video coming up on sine waves, so subscribe and ring the bell for that as well. And also I have a video coming out on the eye pointer click interfaces, so subscribe and smash that for that as well. Funuber out.